welcome to my channel. My name is Erica, and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something similar to what I've done in a previous video. I have picked up four more duochrome, multi-chrome shimmer shades from US Indie brand, VIP Glitz and Glam. <gasps> and of course, I'm gonna have their Etsy shop linked in my description box. I found this brand through an amazing friend of mine named Stacy on uh, Instagram. She was showing pictures of the looks that she'd created with shimmers from VIP Glitz and Glam. I went bonkers, started chatting with Stacy uh, on Instagram about this brand. And so then I went to their Instagram page, followed them, uh, looked at their beautiful pictures, went onto their Etsy shop and bought myself four shades. And I bought myself four more. Now keep in mind, I did pick these up prior to my no buy starting. My no buy started on June 1st. These I picked up, I think, towards the end of May, and they've just been sitting here waiting for me to use them because that's just how I roll. Uh, but I, I got some maybe better ideas for this video uh, based on some of the discussions that I had uh, in the comment section of that last video where I tried out the other four shades over the top of different bases. Uh, Smiley Shawnee and Pia from Makeup by Pia W. They suggested that I do this type of thing over a white base and a black base. The last time I just did it over the P. Louise eyeshadow base. So this time I'm going to use a real true white base and see what the sh shadows look like. And then also a black base. So on each eyelid. Uh, and I, there's probably other people that suggested that too. But you got to remember, I'm a little older, a little more advanced in years now. And my brain doesn't always hold on to information like it used to. <laughs> okay, so let me show you how everything came packaged. Uh, the four shades came packaged in this little bag here. And sorry, the glare is horrible. Uh, and I, of course, will show you the shades in much more detail than that. Uh, they also came with these cute little uh, baggies of uh, like sparkly little gems that you can put on your face. I don't normally do that, but these are so stinking cute that I really do want to try doing that. And Steph, not your basic Steph, my best friend, my soul sister, my mentor, she's given me some ideas about how to use these. So thank you, Steph. Steph is like the other half of my brain. Not just the other half of my heart, other half of my brain too. And they also put this cute sticker that says, be happy. I love it. So let me take these out of here and I'm gonna show you what the shadows look like just in the pan. So the first one is called Emerald Secret. And it's this beautiful greeny gold, teal shifty, I mean, look at that. Kind of like a lighter green, goldy green, and then it gets dark kind of teal green. Ho hee ho, beautiful. Again, this is called Emerald Secret. And I like how they have the name on the back so I can actually read it. Thank you. Uh, this one is called Green Space, similar to the one I just showed you, but I'm a huge green eyeshadow fanatic, so I had to get a couple of greens. This one is more, I would say, like Kelly Green, and it's kind of got a, like a lighter shift. Uh, this is almost like more of a, like a metallic uh, shade, I feel like. Maybe not. Uh, but it's just so beautiful. I love it. Then we have this one here. This one's called Real Love. And this is very deceptive because it looks like it's just white. But when you look at the shade, if I can get it open, it's got this beautiful iridescent kind of pinky purpley bluey shift to it. Yeah, I don't know that you can see it very well on my phone camera. You probably can't. But this I'm hoping will show up more on over the top of the different bases I'm going to be using. I'm sure it will. Uh, again, with the label on the back. And then this one is called Pink Lemonade. And this shifts from pink to yellow, and it's just gorgeous. I don't know that you can see it in my phone camera. You really can't. So that's why I wanted to do this over the top of different bases, so you could really see the shifts. Okay, so what I'll be using for my bases today, I have my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in, what is this called? Milk, I think. Is that what it says? I think this is in milk. I don't see it. On this one, it has the black bean. This is the black base I'm going to be using, the NYX Professional Makeup Jumbo Eye Pencil. I don't know why it doesn't show it. It might, and I just can't see it. But this is gonna go on this eyelid, and this is gonna go on this eyelid. And I'm just gonna slap these shades over the top, and we're gonna see what we think. So I'm gonna start off with putting the white base down on this eyelid first, hang tight. Okay, so I think what I'll do is start off with Pink Lemonade, why not? Beautiful shade. Uh, let me grab a brush here. I'll use my uh, Jessup Cream Shader brush, I love it. And I'm just gonna go into this, not spray it. Pia also said do not spray these genius. I'm so happy that I have like very helpful and wise, knowledgeable friends here on this platform that can steer me in the right direction. And let's put this over the top of the white base. Holy cow. That is gorgeous. Yeah, you can definitely see the pinky orange shift to this. 
What was really bizarre is that in my uh, last video that I did this, uh, I remember putting on a shade. I can't remember which one it was. Life on Mars, maybe. Uh, and I was putting it on over the top of the black base. And I could not see. No, it was the other one. It doesn't matter. I can't even remember what the shade name is now. But uh, I couldn't even see the green in it when I was looking in my mirror. But then when I was editing, all you could see was the green. So I'm, I'm sitting there saying, I don't see the green. And that's all you could see. So anyway. But this is stunning. Wow. Beautiful shade. I mean, look at that. That is gorgeous. I'll lean forward. Can you guys see the shift in color? It's pink and yellow. <gasps> so pretty. So now I'm going to put on the black base. We'll try it on the other side. Okay, here we go. Got the black base down now. All right, let's go back into pink lemonade and we'll put this over the top of the black base. I'll try not to keep singing. Okay. Oh, wow. See, and this makes the pink just boom. You can't even really see the yellow. That is so amazing. I mean, this is just like wizardry, makeup wizardry 101 here today, folks. Wow, that is incredible. Now, you guys might be able to see the yellow. When I'm looking in the mirror, I don't see the yellow. So try to understand, I, don't, I just don't see the yellow. Wow, so now I'm gonna lean forward and you guys can check it out. White base, black base. Cool, huh? I love it. Oh, that's amazing. Love that shade. So I'm going to take this off. We'll go on to the next shade. Okay, so the white base is now obviously on this eyelid. Let's go into Real Love. And this is very deceptive because, like I said, it just looks white. But it's got this really cool pink and purple bluey shift to it, I believe. This is what I remember. Lavender. I don't know. We're going to see right now. So let me... I did clean this off with my color switch. Hopefully that was good enough. And I'm going to just go into the shade, of course. Uh, this is kind of flaky got to be careful here. I'm going to end up with a mess. I don't want to mess. Okay. And let's go ahead and put this over the top. Oh, pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. It's very iridescent, kind of like a light pink and a light lavender. That's right. Now I remember exactly what it looked like. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this in my camera because I know I say this every video, basically. Uh, my camera doesn't always pick up the shifts in color, but I can really see it in the mirror. That is so pretty. Trying to get it across the entire white base here. And I do have some fallout, but you know, it's okay. I'm just playing today, I'm just having some fun. Oh, that's so pretty. It's got this really nice light pink shift. You see that? I hope you can see that. It's gorgeous. So now let's go put on the black base. Alrighty, that is laid down and let's go, it looks so funny. And let's go back into Real Love and we'll put this over the top of the black base. And I have a feeling that the pink and purple are really gonna show up over the top of this base. We shall see, okay. Oh no, you can, oh wow. You can really see the white too, but the uh, pink and purple just, I mean, yes, it does. I don't know why I was like, no. But you can see the white too, that is so, cool. I might just be very easily entertained. Okay. I know. I know. I've been teased about that too my whole life. But uh, yeah, this is just so fun to like see how different they look over the top of different bases. I just love this. It's amazing. Yeah. I really can see the pink uh, more so than purple. Well, I don't know. It's kind of purpley pink. I don't know. Uh, as I'm applying more, it's kind of losing the white uh, base to it or undertone to it or whatever you want to call it. But let me lean forward. What do you think? I love it. I really like the shade. This is really fun. And I have a ton of fallout because I just went a little bonkers with that shade. Uh, I don't know which one do I like better out of the two I've used so far. I don't know that I like either one of them better. They're both gorgeous. So taking this off, go on to the next shade. Okay, the white base is back on. Let's go into... Emerald Secret, this beautiful green shade. <laughs> this one I would say is more vibrant green than the other one that's called Green Space, I, I feel like. I, I know the swatches I saw on their website, they look different. But then I look at them together, I'm like, they kind of look the same, but they're not. I, I know they're not. We're gonna find out. Okay, let's go ahead and put Emerald Secret across the white base now. Oh, that is so beautiful. It's got a beautiful, like, electric yellow and green shift to it. It's beautiful, really beautiful. 
it's like kind of yellowy here and then it goes to green as it goes across my lid. I'm really excited to see what this is going to look over the top of the black base too. <gasps> but yeah, this is stunning. So fun to find this brand. Oh man. And I think, I, oh, I know I did. I mentioned in the last video that their prices are very reasonable. Uh, you know, like I want to try Cleona and Terra Moons. I look at their prices. I'm like, no way. <laughs> Uh, me cheapskate over here is not probably going to get those ever, but I, I need to be like watching their sites for sales. I just don't do that. So let's look at that. Pretty. And I do have a ton of fallout, but I don't care. So now I'm going to go into the black base. Be right back. Okay. Black base is on. Let's go back into Emerald Secret and see what it looks like over the top of the black base. Woohoo. I love the consistency of these shadows too. Uh, I will say that so far, uh, out of all the ones I've tried, or the three that I've tried so far, Pink Lemonade was the least flakiest. Um, they're not flaky in a bad way, okay? But they're just a little bit flakier. I don't know. So let's go ahead and put this down. Oh, wow. Now, see, I really see the gold more. Or I don't, do I? No, I see the green too. I don't know. This is beautiful. This, I feel like over the top of the black base, it looks more metallic green, yellow, than on this side, maybe. I don't know. I'm real helpful, aren't I? I mean, you, you guys can see it, right? So you guys can be maybe a better uh, descriptor of what I'm seeing than I am. Oh, that is so beautiful. I love that. Okay, let me lean forward, see what you think. Which one do you like better? Let me know in the comment section. Oh, so fun. I love this shade. Is this my favorite shade? I don't know. I, I really do like it a lot. <laughs> so, uh, of course, take this off. Go to the next one. Last one. Okay, white base back on. Before I do anything else, though, I, I have to complain here for just a moment. I uh, normally get the Neutrogena wipes, but when I went to the store, I can't remember what store I got these at. They didn't have any left. So I picked up these wipes. Uh, these are Precision Beauty Pore refining, makeup removing, cleansing wipes with tea tree oil. They're awful. They're just not good wipes. They're cheap. And, you know, in a lot of cases, uh, what, what you pay for is what you get. And in this case, that's definitely the truth. I will never get these again. They're just, they stick to my skin. They don't take things off very well. Uh, they are damp and moist or whatever. But uh, they don't stay damp long enough. I don't know. They're just not good wipes. So uh, in hindsight, I probably should have waited until I got the Neutrogena wipes to do this video, but whatever. It's just my eyelids are like, hey, can you knock it off? <laughs> and I don't like to say negative things about makeup, but I, I'm just being honest. I don't do not like these wipes at all. All right, so now that I'm done whining, let's go into this last shade here called Green Space. <gasps> so excited to try this one too. I do have my white base on. I said, think I already said that. Jeez, you guys, you poor things. You're like, Erica, you repeat yourself constantly. And I do know that I do that, but what are you going to do? And this is similar in consistency to the pink lemonade shade. So that's cool. Like it's not as flaky. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this down. Oh, pretty. This is more uh, glittery. What is it? Glittery? Sparkly? This is really pretty. And it's a lighter green, kind of like a, is this a, is this Kelly green? <laughs> sea green? I don't know beautiful though that is gorgeous and this i don't really see a lot of duochromeness to this this i just see the the shade and it's really pretty it's very sparkly yeah this is nice i love it and i'm really glad that there's a difference in tone because at first i thought did i basically pick up the same shade <laughs> but no obviously this is lighter and this is a really pretty i love it oh yeah nice okay i'll lean forward mm -hmm. Okay, beautiful green space is what that's called. Let me go into uh, the black base now. Okay, black base is on and let's go back into green space over the top of the black base. And I, I know that like not everybody uses wipes and I usually use a makeup removing balm, but for things like this, these, these types of comparison type videos, it's just for me, it's easier to use wipes and oh, so annoyed with wipes right now. Okay, let's put, the, ooh, yeah. That really makes this uh, green pop. Although I think the white base makes it pop too. I think this is pretty similar over both bases. This is gorgeous though. Wow. So pretty. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's gorgeous. I, I don't know. I, I like both. 
I feel like this maybe makes it look uh, more rich in tone. This is a little bit more like ethereal, I would say. Wow, really pretty. Let me lean forward and, and you guys can take a peek. What do you think? Which one do you like better? I like both, I really do. I mean, like I said, this one's a little bit more, uh, I don't know, ethereal looking to me. And this one looks like more wall, you know what I mean? This is like, let's go to the park and have some tea. This one's like, let's go out to the club and party. Okay, so I'm gonna take these off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna put myself together for work. Uh, I would film that process, but I'm gonna have to hurry. And uh, what happens when I start filming that process and I start gabbing away and then it takes me a lot longer to get ready. So I'm gonna figure out which shade I wanna use today and over the top of which base and create my look. And then I'll come back and we will recap. Okay, I got myself put together. I was gonna flat iron my hair and I'm gonna be late for work if I do that because it takes me a little while to do that. So I just threw my hair back in a bun today uh, and I really love how my look came together and let me talk to you about what I used in my look today. Let me start off with some of the other things that are on my face before I get into my eye look. On my lips, I do have the Cara Beauty Metal Liquid Lipstick in the shade Badass. I just thought orange would look nice with what I did for my eyes today. And then I did pop a little bit of my uh, Cab Lip Oil over the top because I wanted a glossy lip. Love that lippy. It's actually doing pretty good. Uh, I've had these for a while. I had a, got a set of like four or five of these and a couple of them I had to just toss, but that one's okay. I thought I might need to toss that one, but it's okay today. It feels okay. And then for my lower water lines, I did use one I got from Beauty Creations. This is the gel liner in Lime Time. I don't really know why this is called Lime Time. It's yellow, but anyway, uh, this worked really well in my lower water lines. These might be actually uh, my, my favorite over the ColourPop cream gel liners. They just work so well. They adhere so well to the lower water lines and I've used a few of these now and they they stay really well in the water lines all day long. Uh, I mean, the ColourPop cream gel liners do that too, but not as well as these do. These are amazing. And this was a very affordable set. I'll link the Beauty Creations website in my uh, description box today. And then for my upper lid liner, I did use my uh, Essence Eyeliner Pen in black. Uh, I just hadn't used this in a while and this is, was very affordable, like maybe three, four dollars off their website. Love this uh, felt tip liner, it's amazing. And then for my mascara, I did use my Gosh Cosmetics Catchy Eyes uh, mascara that Pia Makeup by Pia W sent to me. I just figured uh, because she was so wonderful in her suggestions for how to play with these multi-chrome duochrome shades, I'd use the mascara that she sent to me today. Plus I love it, it's amazing. So now let me talk to you guys about the eye look that I created uh, for my mattes. I did use this baby, the Certify Tropical Wonders palette. I put the black shade, this one right here, called Bonobo over both lids. And then I used a combination of Hibiscus, Toucan, and Sunray in my transition area. Just to try to kind of like, I don't know, mimic what was going on with that multi-chrome shadow, duochrome shadow on my lids over the top of the black base. And I, I love this. I, I don't think this brand is around anymore, right? I think that's what I heard. Uh, I've heard a couple different things, so I don't know for sure, but man, Steph sent this to me. I love this palette. The mattes are amazing. And then for the shadow that I used, I used Pink Lemonade, this beautiful shade right here. That was what really stuck out to me the most when I was playing around was this shade over the top of a black base. Now, the reason why I didn't use my uh, jumbo pencil here in Black Bean today is because this is pretty oily on my lids. And uh, I mean, it's fine for like comparison purposes or whatnot. It's pretty easy to get on and off. But I knew that if I tried to have that on all day long over the or underneath this shade, it was going to get really creasy and look funky. So that's why I use like a true matte shade, like a powdery matte shade instead of that oily uh, eyeliner. But uh, that's a really fun way to try out these shades, all four of these shades over the top of a black base, just easy. Uh, like I said, it applies easily, comes off easily. I loved all of these. They're all amazing. I love the other four that I have. I feel like I'm I'm having a lot of fun building my singles collection because I don't really have a lot of singles. I have some, but not a lot. Like I've seen some people and they have tons. I don't know that I necessarily need a lot, but they're just really fun to have. They're really, really fun because, you know, when I'm just in a more creative mood, I can pull these out and just have a blast playing with them. And uh, I love this brand, VIP Glitz and Glam. I will definitely have their Etsy shop linked in my description box too. If you guys have not yet gone and checked out their shadows, highly recommend doing so. Amazing 
prices but that's what always sells me because i'm on the cheap side and then also just amazing quality and beautiful shades and let me know which one you like the best uh and which base you liked it over the top of the best let's chat about that in the comment section i really do think i like pink lemonade the best but i, I love the green shades uh the green space and emerald secret and then also real love beautiful i'd show them to you again but I, I gotta get out of here you guys i gotta go to work thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video if you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw please consider subscribing smash the like button and of course comment down below in the comment section i love to chat with you guys there if you've been here before thank you so much for coming back i cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video but in the meantime please take very good care of yourself be well safe happy and i will see you soon bye Drop it.